Reinhard, firstly, congratulations. We've learnt this week we've signed a new contract with the Dragons. Yeah, thanks. Um, it's been a long time coming. We've been negotiating quite for a while. Um, yeah, I'm just glad we got over the line. And uh, here yeah, we can focus on the future now. And you've just had a new addition to the Lambham family. You must be feeling fairly settled here in the region. Yeah, great. That's the thing as well. Um, we spoke speaking with Kingsley and with the, with the board and everybody. I'm, I'm happy at the Dragons at this stage. The baby was kind of on the way. So a little security for me going forward. I'm happy and playing good rugby. And yeah, everything's going well at this stage. You've committed your contract through to 2019. What was it about the current squad of players and the coaching setup here that convinced you to stay? I want to play amongst international players. I want to play with good players a bit of myself. Leon Brown, Harrison Kelly, Corey Hill got drafted into the, into the Welsh squad and lots more of the Dragons players can do it. If we can bunch up a good few wins, get on the winning, winning side of things, um, we'll have four, five, six players in the Welsh squad. And I want to be part of that. I want to be part of that experience. The news has just come out now and we've already had a, a lot of excited reaction from the Dragon supporters. Just a word on them and their contribution to, uh, to your playing career so far. Oh yeah, Mesa. I mean, from the moment I signed, I think two and a half years back, I wasn't even in the country yet. I got messages of support from back home. It made my transition really, really good, easy. They've been backing me from since when I got here. I mean, it's been massive. I'm, I, met, I'm, I still meet great people every week after the games in the busy stand, in the busy suite, on the idle stand especially where they, where they make all that noise. They're just really good and a part of them kept me at the Dragons as well. No sooner have we given you a new contract and we're throwing you into a couple of festive derbies, away at the Blues on Boxing Day and then back at home at the Ospreys on New Year's Day. How do you see those games playing out? Oh great, my first away derby against the Blues Boxing Day. Uh, we beat them over there. I got men on the match luckily that, good for that day. Um, great squad performance and we, hopefully we can repeat that. My first derby against the Ospreys as well, if I can think back, I think we lost with two, three points. Um, I actually let Reese Webb slip on my inside and he scored the winning try, so that won't happen again, I promise you that. But yeah, Gate, we've been, the preparation's been good, I mean, we don't have to really get yourself up for derby matches, um, it's, it's one of the big ones in the year. And just lastly, on that Ospreys match, you've won five in a row at Rodney Craig. Um, what do you need to do to continue that run? Oh, we just need to go out, believe, that's the main thing. Um, we can't say we've got young players anymore. We do want to make Rodney Parade a fortress. Teams doesn't, don't like coming there. We just need to come on that day, believe we can put one over the Ospreys and then just give it 100%.